that the DCEU is a cesspool of mediocrity. They are the Dallas Cowboys of movies. They are hyped up so much by the fans, but they always fail. They never deliver. They, I, the, the DCEU is literally the Dallas Cowboys of movies. That's a fact, right? right they, have the, they have the players. They have the money behind it. The fans are going, we're going to the Super Bowl. In this case, they're like, we're going to be at Marvel, right? Like they're, they're sitting there and they're happy and they're like, so like thinking they're going to do some shit. Yeah, they have a losing season. Wonder Woman comes out, bombs. Suicide Squad comes out, bombs. Birds of Prey comes out, bombs, right? They are the Dallas Cowboys. They are literally the Dallas Cowboys of movies, right? They are a cesspool of mediocrity. Okay, they can't get out of their own goddamn way to save themselves, right? They're, they're, they're just like standing there and a bus is just slowly coming and these stupid motherfuckers are too dumb to get the fuck out of the way, right? And everybody wants to sit there and praise. All right, I'm, I'm a, here's a hot take, right? You guys want a fucking hot take? Here's a fucking hot take for you. Everybody wants to praise the Snyder Cut of Just League. Right? The Snyder Cut Just League is amazing. It's so great, right? Like, yeah, we say it's amazing now because we saw the piece of shit garbage that we got before that. But let's not forget the reason why the DCEU is in the shambles that it is is because of the bad reviews of Man of Steel, BVS. Those movies, those movies were not critically successful. Right? Yes, Man of Steel. A lot of people love Man of Steel. I love Man of Steel. You love Man of Steel. Everybody loves Man of Steel. Fucking Jimmy loves Man of Steel. But let's not forget that there was a large backlash to that movie. BVS got horrible reviews. It didn't make nowhere near the amount of money the studio wanted. So they decided, hey, we're going to go in a different direction. Now the dumb motherfuckers went in the wrong direction. But let's not sit here and fool ourselves and make it seem like we're going to all be dancing in the sunshine singing Kumbaya, my lord, just because Zack Snyder continued on the projects. I would admit right here, right now, that it, is, it would be better than the shit we got. But let's not sit here and start acting like they're going to compete with the MCU if Zack Snyder would have stayed on. Let's not sit here and fool ourselves to think that the DCEU would be a billion dollar franchise if Zack Snyder would have stayed on. Because there is no evidence to the contrary of that statement. Just like people thinking that the Snyder Cut, if it was in theaters, was automatically a billion dollar movie. Some people actually have the stones to sit there and go, oh, it's a two billion. It would be a two billion dollar. There's no way in hell a four hour rated R movie is going to make a billion dollars. That, like, I'm sitting here laughing thinking about that. Let's, let's, let's break down that statement. Let me say it again slowly for the people who don't understand. A four hour Rated R movie is going to make a billion dollars. Like, what? What? Wait, wait, let's not fool ourselves, right? Yeah, the Joker made a, a billion dollars, right? It was rated R, right? There was a lot. There was people that aren't even comic book fans going to see that movie, right? Like, people were going to see that because of it was a good fucking movie. They promoted it as a good movie. They did not promote that as a superhero movie. You can't promote the Snyder Cut to anything but a fucking superhero movie. Right, and let's not forget this, people. We already had Man of Steel, a failure that is BVS. Wonder Woman did pretty well. Suicide Squad did financially well, but wasn't critically acclaimed. And then, if Zack Snyder would have been able to keep his version, it would have been the next movie in line. So you're telling me after mediocrity, failure, okay movie, failure, the four-hour rated R Snyder cut's gonna make a billion dollars. No, no, I'm sorry, a two billion dollars. What the fuck? You smoking so I can have some. Whatever fucking green shit you smoking, pass it on over this way. Because I need some of that shit. I, I need some of that shit in my life right now. Logically, it doesn't make any sense. Right? I love how people come out with these bold predictions. Like, anybody can do it. There, there is educated guess. Like, me going, man, Aquaman is not going to make a billion dollars. Was I wrong? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. But my educated guess was built on the evidence coming before that. People that want to sit there and act like everything will be kumbaya and all sunshines and rainbows just if Zack Snyder took over and, and remained. The, I'm sorry. The evidence does not support that statement. And, and for people to sit there and come at me and act like I am wrong in my statement, 
I'm sorry. You show me the evidence to the contrary, and I will show you in black and white, red all over, and the red represents the blood of DC because they're getting slaughtered by Marvel. For example, Suicide Squad. Oh, Suicide Squad is going to beat Black Widow. Yeah? So you're telling me a rated R movie during a pandemic that's going straight to HBO Max and not charging a premium is going to beat Black Widow. I mean, I can say shit doesn't make it true. I'm Jerry Jones. Look at me, Dak Prescott. We going to the Super Bowl. I'm Jerry Jones. That doesn't make it right. doesn't make it real. But if you use logic and think about it, well, let me see. How many strikes does this have against you? Well, one is going to HBO Max. So that's a massive strike right there because everybody's probably just going to stay home and watch it. We are in a post-pandemic world. Only it is rated R, so that eliminates half the fan base. And, uh, oh, yeah, the last movie in the DCEU fucking sucked. Right there is a line of evidence proving my point. So let's not sit there and say that everything would be all great and gravy and bag potato chips if fucking Zack Snyder would have stayed on in the DCEU. Again, listen to the words I'm saying. I believe it would be better than what we have now. But let's not sit here and fool ourselves and think that it's going to compete against the New England Patriots in the Super Bowl, right? Because that's what it is, right? Marvel is the New England Patriots and, and, and fucking, uh, fucking um, DC is the Dallas Cowboys. They can't even get to the fucking dance, let alone win the goddamn thing. So that's my thoughts on it. That I, I know I went on a little tangent there, but I want everybody to think about what the fuck I just said. I want you guys to sit hard and just think. I, I want you to go in the bathroom right now, pull down your pants, take a shit, and while you're shitting, I just want you to go, that motherfucker makes sense. <laughs>